people with chronic illnesses and particularly people who are poor with chronic illnesses don't have the means to access the care that they need. Um, and I think that assistance in those areas is very important to them. Um, you know, uh, uh, chronic conditions are what is costing the, the Medicaid programs and insurance programs just uh, a, a lot of money. And the more we can provide um, prim preven preventive care and primary care to, to those folks, the, the less expensive the program is going to be, the healthier those folks are going to be, and um, uh, it, their care is going to be improved significantly. Uh, we, have a, we had a problem then and still do actually, I think, um, not recognizing that a healthy child can reach its full potential and so we need to, to have a healthy child and a lot of it uh, allows them to learn so you don't have, you can do more on the front end preventive wise and not have to pay so much on the back end. That's what it did. What we do is actually go into a state and we assess chronically ill populations in that state and we see what challenges they're facing. Are they having trouble getting access to insurance? Uh, is there a smarter way to do this? The most important thing is that we want to make sure the patients get the care that they need and that's another thing that is so wonderful about these models. You're able to save state dollars without compromising patient care and that's a huge thing. So the patient receives private comprehensive health insurance policy and the state receives a cost avoidance because as I said it's moved over into the private sector. Um, we've been very very successful in many states we've literally saved tens of millions of dollars over the course of a few years for a state. Uh, in these times, in these challenging budget times, people are always looking for ways to save money, again without compromising patient care, and our models really do that. By the gap in coverage, those folks uh, can end up in emergency rooms and in hospitals where they will, uh, they will be provided care. Um, they may be uninsured or they may be eligible for the Medicaid program in which case the state is going to spend extra money taking care of uh, that family. Well, Public-private partnerships were very important to us and um, uh, helped us provide better services to Medicaid patients and also save money. PSI provides a significant benefit to people in Pennsylvania because when they lose their insurance and PSI helps them retain that insurance by helping them with premiums and providing other services to them it uh, provides continuity of care to those folks and it also saves money in the Medicaid program because many of those would be eligible for Medicaid. This is an example of a program that will help states reduce their costs as well as provide better care to, to patients. We work on the front line with patients every day who are diagnosed with something, their child is diagnosed with something, and they don't have a week to try and figure out what their insurance options are or what the next step should be. They need to make a decision very quickly in concert with their doctor and get the care they need for themselves or their family. So what they need is up-to-date, correct information so they can make those positive decisions for themselves and for their family. So we're gonna be that resource for them. PSI then steps in there and makes their life better because they are then transitioned into a private insurance. They're, they're, they are transitioned into a life that they're not accustomed to having. And if we can go in and show, for instance, um, in HIV, uh, which is a program I'm interested in that the PSI has, that we're, we're working on right now, if we can go in and show that we can uh, um, save money, avoid costs, create room in the existing program so that they can do other things and, and do what we say we can do, why not let us do it? And that's what's so wonderful about these programs because we're able to incorporate the state legislatures, we're able to incorporate the state agencies, as well as the patients, and everyone working together. Uh, it's absolutely amazing what you can accomplish sometimes with these programs and the benefits that you can give back. PSI's policy agenda is there to make the lives of our patients much more positive. The first thing that we advocate for is access to health insurance. It seems like a very small thing, but for patients who are uh, chronically ill, sometimes it can be very, very challenging to try and find an insurance policy. So we always advocate for any issue that might create better access for health insurance for our patients. PSI has something called the PSI Patient Coalition, and this is a way for people to get involved and tell their story and give back. We fully understand that with the challenges that they're facing in their lives, with their chronic condition for themselves or for their family, it doesn't leave a lot of time at the end of the day to get involved. 
involved in advocacy. So we want to make it user friendly, easy, and very simple to get involved. Educating legislators, educating administrative staff on the benefits of a program like PSI's program is extremely important. But advocacy by, by people is, is the most effective form of influence there is. That connection is made with the, with the legislator and the legislator then uh, gets personally involved. Um, so when they see PSI coming uh, with a group of, of, or two or three or however many it is in their district, um, you know, they go, hmm, you know, I, I better respond. Well, I think they should. I think this is the wave of the future. I think it's going to be the wave of the future in healthcare. And um, I think PSI really um, it, it can go out and, and, and I've seen it work. I've seen it do the things that it says it's going to do. It can make a real, real difference in somebody's life. To find out more about how PSI can partner with your state or to join the PSI Patient Coalition, visit us at patientservicesinc.org. Thank you.